Here are 30 most commonly asked real-world problem-solving related interview questions. For Java backend developer roles, along with detailed answers. 1. Problem. Your team is experiencing performance issues in a production Java application. How would you approach identifying and resolving performance bottlenecks? Answer. I would start by profiling the application using tools like Visualv or Yorkit to identify CPU and memory bottlenecks. Analyzing thread dumps, optimizing database queries, and considering catching mechanisms are common strategies. Load testing and monitoring production environments help identify performance issues under real-world conditions. 2. Problem. Your organization is adopting microservices architecture. How would you design and implement communication between microservices? Considering factors like RESTful APIs, message queues, and service discovery. Answer. I would design RESTful APIs for communication between microservices, using standards like OpenAPI. Implementing message queues, for example, Kafka or Rebitmec for asynchronous communication and using service discovery tools, for example, Console or Eureka, to locate and connect to services would ensure a robust microservices communication architecture. 3. Problem. Your team is handling a project involving data catching in a Java application. How would you implement an effective catching strategy, considering factors like cache eviction policies, consistency, and distributed catching? Answer. I would use caching libraries like Ekake or Redison. Considering cache eviction policies based on least recently used Lu or Time to Live TTL. Ensuring cache consistency through cache invalidation or using write through write behind strategies. And considering distributed caching for scalability would optimize the caching strategy. 4. Problem. Your company is dealing with a large scale distributed system and you need to ensure transactional consistency across multiple databases. How would you design and implement distributed transactions in a Java-based system? Answer, I would implement distributed transactions using two-phase commit protocols or compensating transactions, coordinating transactional activities, ensuring idempotence, and Considering fallback mechanisms in case of failures would ensure transactional consistency in a distributed system. 5. Problem. Your team is handling a project involving user authentication and authorization. How would you implement secure authentication using Java frameworks? And what strategies would you use for role-based access control? RBAC. Answer, I would implement secure authentication using frameworks like Spring Security. Considering features like password hashing and multi-factor authentication. Implementing RBAC through annotations or middleware and ensuring proper session management and token-based authorization would secure user authentication and authorization. 6. Problem. Your organization is adopting a containerized approach using Docker for Java applications. How would you design Docker images for Java applications? Considering factors like image size, layering, and environment configuration. Answer. I would design Docker images by leveraging official append images as a base, minimizing layers, and separating dependencies to optimize image size. Using environment variables for configuration, considering multi-stage builds, and regular security scanning for vulnerabilities would ensure efficient and secure Docker images. 7. Problem. Your team is dealing with a project involving message-driven communication using Java Message Service GMs. How would you design and implement asynchronous messaging, considering message queues, listeners, and error handling? Answer. I would design message-driven components using GMs. Configuring message queues, for example, Apache ActiveMQ and implementing message listeners. Ensuring proper acknowledgement and transactional behavior. Implementing error queues for handling failed messages. And considering message redelivery policies would enhance the reliability of asynchronous messaging. 8. Problem. 
Your company is implementing a search functionality in a Java application. How would you design and optimize a search feature, considering factors like indexing, relevance, scoring, and performance tuning? Answer. I would design the search feature using search engines like Elasticsearch, implementing proper indexing and relevance scoring, optimizing queries, using catching for frequent searches, and considering features like autocomplete or fuzzy searching, would enhance the overall performance and user experience of the search functionality. 9. Problem. Your team is handling a project involving file uploads and downloads in a Java web application. How would you implement secure file handling, considering factors like input validation, storage, and access control? Answer, I would implement secure file handling by validating file inputs, configuring secure storage locations, and enforcing access controls, utilizing frameworks like Apache Commons, file upload, ensuring proper content type validation, and implementing secure download mechanisms to prevent unauthorized access would enhance file handling security. 10. Problem. Your organization is dealing with a project involving real-time event processing using Java. How would you design and implement an event-driven architecture? Considering factors like event sourcing, event processing patterns, and scalability? Answer. I would design an event-driven architecture using technologies like Apache, Kafka, or Rabbitmech. Considering event sourcing for state management. Implementing event-driven patterns like publish subscribe or command query responsibility segregation curves. And ensuring scalability through partitioning or sharding would optimize real-time event processing. 11. Problem. Your team is handling a project involving database connection pooling in a Java application. How would you configure and optimize connection pooling, considering factors like connection reuse, pooling parameters, and error handling? Answer. I would configure connection pooling using libraries like Hickorik or Apache DBC, optimizing parameters like maximum pool size and connection timeouts, ensuring proper error handling, using connection validation mechanisms and considering features like connection leasing would enhance the efficiency of database connection pooling 12 problem your company is dealing with a project involving restful api development in java how would you design and implement a scalable and secure rest api considering factors like api versioning authentication and rate limiting answer I would design RESTful APIs using frameworks like Spring Boot, implementing versioning through URI or headers, securing APIs with OATH or JUT authentication, forcing rate limiting using techniques like token bucket algorithm, and considering features like API documentation through Swagger would ensure scalability and security. 13. Problem. Your team is handling a project involving data validation in a Java application. How would you implement robust data validation, considering factors like input validation, error messaging, and preventing security vulnerabilities like skull injection or cross-site scripting XSS? Answer. I would implement data validation using validation libraries, for example, Hibernate Validator, Validating inputs at both client and server sides. Preventing security vulnerabilities by using parameterized queries, input sanitization, and implementing secure coding practices would ensure robust data validation in a Java application. 14. Problem. Your organization is implementing a distributed caching strategy in a Java microservices environment. How would you design and implement distributed caching? considering factors like cache consistency, data partitioning, and resilience. Answer. I would design distributed caching using tools like Redis or Hazelcast. Considering factors like cache consistency through cache invalidation or expiration policies. Implementing data partitioning for horizontal scalability, ensuring resilience through replication or sharding 
and considering cache preloading strategies would optimize distributed caching in a microservices environment. 15. Problem. Your team is handling a project involving data migration in a Java application. How would you design and execute a data migration strategy? Considering factors like schema changes, data transformation, and minimizing downtime. Answer. I would design a data migration strategy by analyzing schema changes using migration tools like Flyway or Liquibase. Implementing data transformation scripts, ensuring backward compatibility, and conducting phased migration with minimal downtime and rollback procedures would ensure a smooth data migration process. 16. Problem. Your company is dealing with a project involving task scheduling in a Java application. How would you design and implement task scheduling, considering factors like cron expressions, reliability, and handling concurrent tasks? Answer. I would design task scheduling using frameworks like Quartz Scheduler, configuring tasks with cron expressions for precise scheduling, ensuring reliability through persistent job stores, handling concurrent tasks through proper synchronization, and considering features like job chaining or retry mechanisms would optimize task scheduling in a Java application. 17. Problem. Your team is handling a project involving internationalization and localization in a Java web application. How would you design and implement support for multiple languages? Considering factors like resource bundles, message formatting, and dynamic content rendering. Answer. I would design internationalization using resource bundles. Providing localized messages and content. Implementing dynamic content rendering based on user preferences, supporting message formatting for date, time, and numeric values, and considering features like language negotiation would ensure effective internationalization and localization in a Java web application. 18. Problem. Your organization is implementing a logging and monitoring system for a Java microservices architecture. How would you design and implement centralized logging, considering factors like log aggregation, log formats, and real-time monitoring? Answer. I would design centralized logging using tools like Elkstack, Elasticsearch, Logstash, Kibana, configuring log formats and log shipping, implementing log aggregation, analyzing logs for anomaly detection and using real-time monitoring tools like Prometheus or Grafana would ensure effective logging and monitoring in a Java microservices environment. 19. Problem. Your team is handling a project involving long-running processes in a Java application. How would you design and implement background processing, considering factors like job queuing, asynchronous processing, and handling failures? Answer. I would design background processing using job queuing systems, for example, Rabitmech or Apache Kafka, implementing asynchronous processing and handling failures through mechanisms like dead letter queues, ensuring job prioritization, implementing retry policies, and considering features like job state persistence, would optimize background processing in a Java application. 20. Problem. Your company is dealing with a project involving security audits for a Java application. How would you design and implement security measures, considering factors like code reviews, penetration testing, and dependency scanning? Answer. I would design security measures by conducting regular code reviews, implementing secure coding practices, and using static code analysis tools. Performing penetration testing, scanning dependencies for vulnerabilities, and ensuring secure configuration of frameworks and libraries would enhance the security posture of a Java application. 21. Problem. Your team is handling a project involving real-time collaboration features in a Java web application. How would you design and implement real-time communication? Considering factors like WebSocket protocols, message broadcasting, and handling concurrent updates? Answer. I would design real-time communication using WebSocket protocols, 
implementing message broadcasting and handling concurrent updates through proper synchronization, ensuring efficient data synchronization between clients, implementing features like message queues for real-time updates, and considering WebRTC for multimedia communication would optimize real-time collaboration in a Java web application. 22. Problem. Your organization is implementing a graphical API in a Java application. How would you design and optimize graphical schemas, considering factors like query complexity, batching, and security best practices? Answer. I would design graphical schemas, optimizing queries for efficiency, and considering factors like query complexity analysis. Implementing batching for efficient data fetching, securing graphical APIs through proper authentication and authorization, and handling resolver optimizations would ensure robust graphical implementation in a Java application. 23. Problem. Your team is handling a project involving data streaming and processing in a Java application. How would you design and implement data streaming, considering factors like Apache, Kafka, stream processing frameworks, and handling event time processing? Answer. I would design data streaming using Apache Kafka, configuring topics and partitions for scalability, implementing stream processing using frameworks like Apache Flink or Kafka Streams, handling event time processing for ordered events, and ensuring fault tolerance through checkpointing would optimize data streaming and processing in a Java application. 24. Problem. Your company is dealing with a project involving API rate limiting in a Java web application. How would you design and implement rate limiting? Considering factors like token buckets, distributed catching, and handling burst requests? Answer. I would design rate limiting using token bucket algorithms, implementing distributed catching for tracking request rates. Ensuring proper handling of burst requests, configuring rate limits based on user roles or API endpoints, and considering features like sliding window mechanisms would optimize rate limiting in a Java web application. 25. Problem. Your team is handling a project involving database connection failover and recovery in a Java application. How would you design and implement connection failover strategies? Considering factors like connection pooling, retry policies, and detecting database availability? Answer. I would design connection failover strategies using connection. Pooling libraries with built-in failover support. Configuring retry policies and timeout mechanisms. Implementing health checks to detect database availability. Handling transient errors and ensuring proper logging for diagnostic purposes would enhance connection failover and recovery in a Java application. 26. Problem. Your organization is dealing with a project involving distributed tracing in a Java microservices architecture. How would you design and implement distributed tracing, considering factors like trace propagation, instrumentation, and analysis tools? Answer. I would design distributed tracing using tools like OpenTelemetry, implementing trace propagation through HTTP headers or messaging protocols, instrumenting microservices for trace generation, configuring sampling policies, and using analysis tools like Jaeger or Zipkin would enable effective distributed tracing in a Java microservices environment. 27. Problem. Your team is handling a project involving graphical subscriptions in a Java web application. How would you design and implement real-time subscriptions? Considering factors like WebSocket connections, payload optimization, and handling subscription lifecycle. Answer. I would design graphical subscriptions using WebSocket connections, optimizing payload size for efficient communication, implementing subscription lifecycle management, handling subscription events asynchronously, and considering features like connection heartbeats for maintaining WebSocket connections would optimize real-time subscriptions in a Java web application. 28. Problem. Your company is implementing a data privacy feature in a Java application. 
and you need to handle personally identifiable information P securely. How would you design and implement data encryption, masking, and access controls to ensure data privacy compliance? Answer. I would design data privacy features by implementing encryption mechanisms, for example, AES for sensitive data, using masking techniques for non-sensitive display, and enforcing access controls based on roles and permissions. Regularly auditing access logs, conducting impact assessments, and ensuring compliance with data privacy regulations, for example, GDPR with SecureP in a Java application. 29. Problem. Your team is handling a project involving a or B testing in a Java web application. How would you design and implement a or B testing? Considering factors like experiment design, randomization, and analyzing experiment results. Answer. I would design a or B testing by implementing experiment design using tools like Google Optimize. Ensuring proper randomization of users into control and experiment groups. Analyzing experiment results statistically, considering factors like confidence intervals. And iterating experiments based on user behavior would optimize a or B testing in a Java web application. 30. Problem. Your organization is dealing with a project involving integration testing in a Java microservices architecture. How would you design and implement integration tests, considering factors like test data setup, service orchestration, and handling external dependencies? Answer. I would design integration tests using frameworks like test containers, ensuring proper setup and teardown of test data. Orchestrating microservices for testing using tools like Docker Compose, configuring mock services, or using contract testing and ensuring isolation of external dependencies to create reproducible tests would optimize integration testing in a Java microservices architecture. In conclusion, real-world problem-solving related interview questions for Java backend developer roles cover a wide range of topics, including performance optimization, microservices, security, scalability, and integration testing. Strong candidates demonstrate a deep understanding of Java technologies, design patterns, and effective problem-solving skills to build robust and scalable backend solutions. For more exciting tips, tricks and more importantly, for valuable insights of interviews, please share, like, and subscribe to my channel. It has a lot of valuable information about various insights of interviews. It has a wide range of real-world portfolio projects of various technologies for interviews, and it has wide range of most asked interview questions and answers of various technologies like data science, SAP, AWS, DevOps, and full-stack web development, and more. That will be useful during interviews. It has a wide range of most asked interview questions and answers and real-world portfolio projects of various technologies for freshers. For two to three years, experienced candidates, and for five or above years, experienced candidates to test their skills by knowing most asked interview questions and make themselves ready for interviews.